What's up guys, Coach Kevin here from Elite Performance Gym. So I'm gonna be walking you through an upper body only stretching video. So what you need to be doing is you don't need no objects, you probably just need, maybe need a wall, need a bench, a chair, something of that nature, okay? What you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be performing between two to three rounds, about 30 to 45 seconds hold on each exercise. Okay, I'm gonna give you two exercises back to back that you can be performing two to three rounds, 30 to 45 seconds, okay? So first thing, we're gonna be working our way up and working, oh, working our way up and working our way all the way back down. Your first one, you're gonna go into shoulder pull. So what you're gonna be doing here, feet out shoulder width apart. You're gonna bring one arm, cross it over your chest. You're gonna bring that other arm right past that elbow and you're pulling this here. So you're pulling here and what I like to do is I like to give myself a little bit of a twist. So you're also stretching out that spine here. Now you're gonna just rotate out here. So I would hold it for about a second or two and rotate and pull. Rotate and pull, make sure you wanna, you don't wanna jerk the weight nice and slow up until you feel that good stretch. So this is really good, again, for that spine as well as that shoulder, okay? The next exercise that you're gonna combine it with is called a downward dog, but using a wall, okay? So we're gonna have our feet out shoulder width apart. You're gonna probably be about an a a arm's length away from here. Hands are gonna be nice and even. You're gonna tuck that chin to that chest. You're gonna push your head in between both shoulders and remaining, keeping those palms remaining onto that wall, guys. So you should be feeling a really good stretch here onto your shoulders. For those of you that, uh, let's say, that type a lot or on your desk a lot, this is a really, really good stretch for any re uh, relevation of you know, tight, sh tight shoulders, tight necks, I would say you would do this too. Again, so one more time, hands onto the wall, deep breath in, you're gonna push it all the way out here, and then you're gonna be holding this again for either 30 to 45 seconds. I usually always recommend starting off slow, and then from there, gradually building up, okay? Right after that, guys, we're gonna go into a tricep stretch, okay? So this is a tricep, the muscle group behind those biceps, okay? So what we're gonna do, you're gonna place one arm, you're gonna place it right behind your spine, exactly just right where your spine is. With your other elbow, other arm, you're gonna be pushing down on that elbow, straight down out here. So you're pushing down as far as you can. Again, just go at what you're able to do. You're holding that again for 30 to 45 seconds, then you would rotate, okay? The next stretch, we're gonna be doing something called a bicep stretch. You're gonna be using the wall, okay? So what you're gonna be doing first, you're gonna be slightly leaning forward. You're gonna have a staggered stance. So I'm gonna be stretching out my right bicep. Left foot is in front of me. My back leg, my right leg is out in front, okay? I'm gonna grab my arm. I'm gonna have my thumb down, okay? So thumb down, I'm gonna be placing it nice and straight. I'm gonna be locking out my elbow. That's the main key. Lock out your elbow, thumb is down. What you're gonna be doing too is you're gonna be pushing your shoulder into that wall. So I'm pushing it towards that wall at that same time. What I'm doing is also, I'm turning my upper body that way. So I'm pushing my shoulder down in, looking towards that way too. So it's nice and straight. You're gonna feel that really good stretch on that bicep out here. And again, you would be holding that between 30 to 45 seconds, and then you would switch, okay? All right, the next exercise, guys. This is called a chest opener, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not that very flexible with my chest, and so you guys are gonna be seeing it too. But Okay, so what you're gonna do out here, you're gonna be interlocking your fingers out over here. So interlock those fingers, okay? Once you interlock to those fingers, you're gonna be hinging forward, keeping that back nice and straight, and you're gonna try to lift up those arms, interlocking out like this. As you can see, I'm not that great. I think my shoulders are a little bit too big for that, but I gotta work on that. So that's gonna be working out, uh, stretching out your chest, okay? The next exercise, what you're gonna be doing is called a thoracic stretch. So. We're gonna be using a chair. You can also, using a bench, I'm sorry. We're gonna, you could also use a chair, you can use a table. You just need something that's kind of flat, okay? This stretch is really, really good. I notice it specifically um, whenever I'm in my pressing movements, if I notice my left shoulder starts to give out, when I start doing this beforehand as my pre-workout um, routine, my pressing is so much better. Okay, so what you're gonna be doing now here, you're gonna be going onto your knees, okay? You're gonna be placing your elbows at the edge of your table, chair, whatever you have too, okay? You can place your palms of your hands on top of your head, okay? You're gonna be about, I would say, a few inches away. Your chest is gonna be a few inches away from there. You're gonna take a deep breath in, and what you're gonna be doing, making sure you're not pressing down onto your head, just touch your, your head with those fingertips, and you're gonna be pushing your elbows forward as well as you're gonna be tucking in. 
that chin to that chest. As you can see, my head is past my shoulders and you're gonna feel that really, really, really good stretch all over here. I'm feeling that really good stretch out here. It's gonna relieve any upper back tightness. It's also gonna relieve any shoulder tightness too. So again, deep breath in and you wanna just push as far as you can go from there, okay? So again, 30 to 45 seconds, okay? And then last but not, not, last but not least, we have our last exercise, guys. It's called that cat dog pose, as well as the child's pose. It's a very simple yoga pose that you're gonna be doing. So cat dog pose, you're gonna get on all fours. Imagine you're a cat and a dog, okay? So you're on your knees out here, wrists and shoulders lined together. You're gonna be trying to tuck in your upper back, and what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be rounding that. So imagine when a cat gets angry, what happens? They start pulling themselves up, chin to chest, and you're gonna be pushing your upper body all the way up. As you can see, I'm rounding my upper back. That's your thoracic spine out here. So you're holding that there. Now you're gonna to try to become a dog. So dogs, usually what they do when they look up at you, you're gonna be tucking in those elbows and looking all the way up, round that back, or you directly in front of you. As you can see, now I have a small little curve and that lower back too. And then return back to that normal first cat pose, tucking in, up, rounding that upper back. So you're gonna be rotating between those two cat dog pose, 30 to 45 seconds. Right after that, you're gonna go into child's pose. So have your hips a little bit wider than the shoulder width. You're gonna be sitting into your heels, okay? So as you can see, the top of my feet are resting onto that floor. I'm gonna hands my hands out in front of me. I'm gonna be sitting deep into that child's pose too, okay? So as you can see, my hips are very, very low. They're at my heels. You gotta go with whatever you're able to do. You're gonna have your hands out in front of you, and what you're gonna be doing is that you're just gonna be reaching forward. Have your forehead, if you can, onto that floor. Reach forward out here, and you're just resting out here. This is a very relaxing pose. You're gonna be feeling a really good stretch on your lats, on your shoulders, as well as in your hips too. This is also really good to help open up your hips. And you're just holding that there for 30 to 45 seconds. And there you have it, guys. That is a quick, full upper body stretching routine that you can be performing at any time of the day. I personally do like doing stretching post-workout. I don't like doing stretching before workout. I like doing something called a dynamic warm-up, which is more of a faster pace with getting that blood flow there. Stretching is something that is very, very crucial that's not gonna only just help you with your joints and just help you with your muscle growth, but it's also gonna help you keep that with longevity, meaning that you're gonna be able to do it for such a long time, pain-free, okay? So you need to do this each and every single day, guys. Doesn't take too long to do it. The main thing too is just get it done and you're gonna see the results, guys. I'll see you later.